<laughs> Welcome back. If you suffer from depression and anxiety, it might be time to check your gut. New studies in the Wall Street Journal show a link between bacteria in your digestive system and depression. I spoke to author and neurologist Dr. Kauri Chaudhry about how you can get your mind-gut connection cleaned up for improved mental health. The gut-brain health connection is not just a myth. More and more, we see modern medicine accepting philosophies that ancient medicine has known for years. The fastest way to clean your mood is to clean your food. According to Dr. Kelly Chaudhry, a neurologist and author of The Prime, says the gut-mind connection is real. Your gut is actually telling the brain how to think and how to feel. And that's completely revolutionary, even though we've known that from thousands of years ago, um, you know, from medical systems like Ayurveda, even though we know that, we know it now. According to science.com, the human gut is lined with more than 100 million nerve cells and that the gut talks to the brain by releasing hormones. Dr. Chaudhry, also an expert in the ancient practice of Ayurvedic medicine, says the gut brain are one functional unit and finding the gut brain access is key. We know that what you eat determines the way that you're thinking and feeling. Try to look at yourself as almost like a planet that these guys populate. And just like human beings impact the health of the planet that we populate, so do the bacteria. It's the same thing. They're really the citizens living in you. Without changing our diets, then we are fighting an uphill battle. Toxic inflammation from the gut impacts the brain. Dr. Chaudhry says it's not difficult to heal a distressed system. The work that I do with my patients is just helping them to shift the citizens on the planet that they call bo their body. <laughs> Looking to improve your gut health, Dr. Chaudhry says start first with positive thoughts, meditation, and special herbs and teas will do the job. One of my favorite things to give is called the prime tea. It's really simple. It's just made out of cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds. It's a half a teaspoon of each. You put in about four to five cups of water, boil it for five to 10 minutes, strain out the seeds, and just take small sips of that all throughout the day. Dr. Chaudhry also recommends Trifla, Ashwagandha, and Brahmi for optimum gut and brain health. Downtown Staple and Spice owner Tammy Yanders says she uses most of these recommended herbs and doesn't miss a day. It's funny because I'm, drink I'm taking it and then all of a sudden I'm just like, huh, I just feel like the edge kind of just took, you know, was taken off. In Rapid City, I'm Alina Neves. Meteorologist Eric Gardner says temperatures will be 10 degrees above normal this week. Your accurate first alert forecast is next.